Hi everyone, we just finished the Bangalore pitching event and it went really well. Here I am with the winner Sashin from Hacker Earth. And uh, can you let everyone know a bit uh, what is your startup all about and who are you? What's the team? Okay. Hi, my name is Sachin Gupta. I'm a graduate of Indian Institute of Technology, Rookie. Worked previously at Google. Uh, we, we, are called, we started out in college itself. I worked four months at Google and then quit and founded Hacker Earth. We were incubated in an accelerator, pro accelerator program in India by the name of Global Super Angels Forum. Okay. It's been about six months since we have been in operation. And uh, the core problem that we're trying to solve with Hacker Earth is to make recruiting process super easy and super efficient. So currently, there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of unstructured uh, process that's happening in uh, recruiting, particularly tech recruiting. A platform not only streamlines that, but also m objectifies the entire process of tech recruiting. So we have an assessment engine built inside uh, an application tracking system that, let, uh, that lets companies completely streamline their uh, recruiting process. Okay. And uh, who are your clients? Any company? Yeah. So we have about 15 uh, clients which uh, we were working with currently. They are in uh, invite beta mode. So we launched an MB MVP four months back and we have been uh, you know, iterating with them. Uh, names like Inmobi, Capillary, WebEngage, Hindustan Times also used our platform. We are in talks with companies like Cables and Wireless, McKinsey. So that's the breadth and uh, we are covering in terms of our clients, roughly about 15 to 20. And have you always been an entrepreneur? Is this your first startup or what's the story behind it? Yes, yeah, so as I said, I graduated li last year in 2012, so it's my first startup. Actually, it's, it's my, uh, you could say my second job, but I worked at Google only for about four months, so it's uh, practically my first job. Uh, we st started out with a concept in college itself, and that's how it all began. It began uh, in 2010, late 2010, and now we are here. Uh, we actually formed a company in 2012, and that's how we have evolved. Uh, always wanted to be an entrepreneur because I don't see myself, you know, working under someone. I mean, that's the typical explanation every entrepreneur gives. But uh, what excites me really is to take on a challenge, uh, basically the whole team, and build a product around that and solve a problem. So what I feel an entrepreneur is someone who, who identifies a problem, and then most importantly, executes it with all his or her will. Because everyone can come up with an idea, and there are tons of problems to be solved. It's all about execution and how you understand your user, how do you try to solve the pain point. You can build a product, but until unless it actually solves the problem, it's not really worth it. And that's what excites us, and that's what we've been doing for the last five months, day in and day out. Um, what is the biggest challenge that uh, the startup or you think an entrepreneur faces in India today? I'll answer that question uh, kind of specific to what problems we have faced. Uh, I believe consumer play is very, very tough in India uh, because user acquisition is not only expensive, but also difficult. For uh, instance, in our case, we reach out to developers all across India. And I know how much pain it has been. We have literally got on phone with developers across colleges in India and talk to them and engage with them. That's not the same kind of problem uh, startups in the US face because the internet economy is very robust, or, or I would say around the world, because people are much more online and they get to, you get to know about things. Uh, other than that, the biggest challenge I've faced so far is sales. Because in India, business is very personal. You may have an awesome product, you may be doing great stuff, but to convert to sales, you got to be in that network. So things come from network, and it's not easy in the beginning. You got to learn how to do that. And once you start that initial pool, you get the seed of your you know, initial customers, then start picking up. So sales is one of the toughest challenge. And Indian economy itself is very uh, uh, profits driven, or I would say revenue driven. So the parameter people ask you right now is not your traction, but how much revenue you're making. And that's the tougher thing, I would say, as compared to the rest of the economies. Yeah, particularly for a startup. Okay. And uh, last but not least, uh, we are a Swiss initiative. So what does Switzerland mean to you? What are the words that come to your mind? Okay. So I'll tell you, uh, and I think it stands true for a lot of Indians. Uh, Bollywood in India has heavily influenced our perception of Switzerland. It's, it's green fields, mountains, and you'll see all kind of movies being shot there. So it's, it's like uh, a holiday destination for almost everyone and people want to go to Switzerland once in their life because it's so beautiful as project yeah as, as it's project in Bollywood uh, I never uh, really looked at it point from point of view of a startup economy I, I'm, I don't know much about that but apart from uh, other than that as a destination everybody wants to go there and yeah so Bollywood we have to thank them they made a really nice <laughs> image of Switzerland the de facto place where you go after your marriage <laughs> okay well thank you very much thank you